Patients often present with a larger breast mass, uh, which has, of course, two implications. One, they risk mastectomy, and the other, they're at high risk of systemic recurrence. And the question is, what's the correct systemic therapy for those patients? And so, in general, we have these approaches of using neoadjuvant systemic therapy to shrink the tumour down, and that promotes breast conserving surgery, uh, and also we get a chance to see how the systemic therapy is doing. Now, when this was first developed, all the patients got chemotherapy, but it became very evident that a subset of tumours weren't doing particularly well with neoadjuvant chemotherapy, and that's the group of patients who had strongly hormone receptor positive HER2 negative breast cancer, which is actually the majority of patients. You almost never, never got a pathological complete response. And so the question became, should we use neoadjuvant endocrine therapy rather than neoadjuvant chemotherapy to shrink those tumours? And it also carried the interesting implication that if the tumour was an extreme responder to the endocrine therapy, maybe chemotherapy was unnecessary.